Hello viewers, welcome to RK Keynotes. This tutorial is about core Java programming, particularly for CS8383 syllabus. And this is about unit number 5. And I have splitted unit number 5 into 3 parts. In the first part, we will be covering all these 6 topics. That is, first we will understand what is graphics programming, how to create frames, and how to use AWT components. I'm going to show you a demo using NetBeans and uh, life cycle of applet how to work with 2d shapes that is we're going to draw some shapes like lines rectangle ellipse and circle and arcs and uh, finally we're going to play with font style and color and how to display images in a applet viewer so uh, let's begin with the first topic that is graphics programming we, you know what is graphics so far from unit number one two three four we have learned all these concepts but we have not included any graphics which means that we have not displayed any uh, text box or you know label or any picture you know inside the window so um, using java.awt.graphics class we can display some graphics a kind of uh, you know we can display a colorful font image and shapes and um, this kind of things so for that we need to use java.awt.graphics and uh, you know whenever uh, we are talking about AWT it will interact with your operating system uh, to perform uh, you know this kind of drawings so we'll be using paint method for this and uh, so as it is interacting with operating system to perform the drawing so we will call this as uh, you know a heavyweight when in part 3 we are going to talk about swings whereas swings are 100% designed within this java package so it won't interact with your operating system so swings are lightweight so swings are basically just advanced version of awt swings consist of all the components uh, from awt and also it has some advanced features so we will be exploring that in part 3 okay so I hope you got the overall idea of what is graphics programming so now let's talk about awt that is abstract window toolkit so what is this? Basically, this consists of a number of classes, which includes uh, different graphical components. Uh, graphical components in the sense, as I said that, so far we have not displayed any button, label, and radio button, and images, and all. So using uh, AWT, we are going to display all these things, right? And uh, yeah, as I said that, uh, java.awt package is used, which means that we need to import this package to draw all these classes which you are seeing right now so this is AWT hierarchy the hierarchy goes like this so uh, there is um, yeah object class we know that the super class for everything is object class and there is a component class component class consists of all these classes like button canvas checkbox choice container label list scroll bar uh, text components and underneath text component there are uh, text field and text area hope you know the difference between text field and text area mm -hmm. um, and uh, under container we have got panel window and underneath window there is frame and dialog so uh, these are all the components of AWT and in part 3 we are going to learn components of, of swing so it is going to be similar but we're going to have some additional features so there is just a small difference i'm going to explain uh, in part num part three all right so now i'll just give you a demo on you know uh, these uh, components like see this is a label and uh, which cannot be edited so you can just display like first name last name and all and this is the text field and you can enter only limited number of characters in this if it is text area you know you can specify number of rows and columns you want then whenever you type and you will be getting uh, scroll bars even in that so that is the difference between text field and text area um, which means that multiple lines can be you know entered in text using text area and this is a frame this is the frame okay so we in the next video we are going to learn how to create a frame so there are two types we can create frame um, so within a frame we are going to place a panel and within a panel we are going to have uh, you know these components like label text box and this is button so uh, this is uh, and and uh, this is the overall concepts about a uh, container and its components 
and over here we have got nine classes that is label button and all and we're gonna use these um, keywords like uh, throughout this module like size in the sense we're gonna we need to specify the width and height of uh, you know the label and uh, you know we can specify the location uh, where the point x and point y should start and end and boundaries in the sense like if you want to display a button in the frame then you need to set a boundary like x and y and where it should sh uh, start and you know where it should end and uh, the width and height of that and we're going to say something like foreground and background color so which, so which can be applied uh, for uh, shapes so we can foreground in, in I, mean, I mean in front we can color something in the background we can have some uh, the window can be colored in different um, color and we're going to use font class and uh, colors as well as RGB and cursor the shape of the mouse so so these are the components basically when this question is asked you just want to uh, you know explain the hierarchy and you need to give a simple example uh, here I have given the you know explanation for all these things what is a container basically it is you know which consists of you know other components like button and text field and etc we have seen uh, and uh, we have got one more thing now uh, the class that extends container class because over here you see this the container class is extended further it has got panel and window underneath window you have got frame and dialog okay so that is what given here and uh, about window um, is a container that has no borders and menu bars so you must use frame and dialog to do so and panel what is a panel so panel does not um, contain a title bar and menu bar we know that because you see this this is just a panel uh, so this is the this panel does not contain you know anything within the panel you can place some components that's it all right then how about this windows class that is frame it, which is also called as decorated windows um, uh, so a frame consists of all these things uh, so this is a frame I said so you see this it is a window so within a frame we can place all these components and this frame consists of so right now here there is no uh, menu bar but you can place using menu bar and within like file edit and all these things I'm talking about that is a menu bar and whenever you click on that file you know menu items will be displayed so you can add that also so we'll be uh, you know uh, exploring all these things in in the further you know upcoming videos um, then uh, we have got uh, canvas as I said that uh, you can uh, draw you know above that that is it is a blank window uh, so in that you can specify you can display a picture or you can you can draw something so basically it, it overrides paint method so this is about AWT components and its hierarchy so in the next video I'm gonna talk about what is frame and what are the methods that used to create a frame and i'm going to display uh, you know an example in netbeans so hope you like this video if you like the video hit the like button which motivates me to do more videos like this and um, do subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you and thanks for watching the video